one of the most common questions I get asked during my consultations is what's the difference between a round and a teardrop shaped implant? Now I have an example of each. So if you look, I'm in my right hand I'm holding a teardrop shaped implant and in my left hand I'm holding a round implant. And you can see that the profile of the round is equal, so it's like a, a semicircle, whereas the teardrop shaped implant has a slope. And this means that many people think that with a teardrop shaped implant you get a much more natural result. But in fact that's not necessarily true. You can get a very similar result by using an appropriately selected round implant. So teardrop shaped implants are excellent for breast reconstruction and I would suggest in slightly older women who need more fullness in the lower part of the breast. Whereas round implants are great for uh, the younger patient who just needs a larger breast or is looking for a larger breast. A round implant also gives a little bit more upper pole fullness. One thing to remember in mind is that with a teardrop shaped implant, although it can give a great look, there is always a small chance that it can rotate so that it sits upside down and then may require surgery to unrotate.